and welcome back so the next uh, cyber security program that i want to talk about is the new york university nyu's uh, micro bachelors in cyber security so most of the people when i told them they search nyu cyber security you can see the uh, results are irrelevant some went to this one and they was found out that it's cost about eighty one thousand. Uh, while the micro bachelor cost about 1600 i'm going to show you where it is nyu so micro bachelor you go to this link it's offered through edx if you don't know this platform it was developed by harvard and stanford universities for uh, you know rest of the world to get the same courses online much cheaper than they would be if they were actually in those universities now this one it says it will take six months it has oh wait oh the computer science fundamental not not this one micro bachelor so you, you, that's a great course you can if you if you want to you can go ahead and look at that but uh, we are looking for nyu computer courses computer science so basically we were we are looking for micro bachelor where are you let's search this nyu x micro bachelor in not computer science cyber security my apologies for this uh edx right there now this one you can oh the price drop when I look it's, it's the same one right <laughs> yes nine high quality courses so there are nine courses when I looked about a week ago it was about sixteen hundred dollars I'm pretty sure about that but um, let's uh, continue with 1344 maybe there is a price drop or maybe I am mistaken there are nine courses each course has uh, five weeks that uh, it will they are anticipating for you to complete they think that you will complete in one year and uh, that sounds about right if you are only going doing one week per uh, week like you're only do, going through this course over the weekend yes it will take i tried that and i was like okay it's gonna be too slow for me it will uh, take all the way year end and it will be uh, uh i will be in danger of uh not completing the course because the course deadline is 31st uh, december of this year so what i did is i'm taking two i'm clearing like reading through two weeks per weekend now the course uh, itself it's all videos and and videos uh there are some texts I strongly recommend. If you don't have a background in cybersecurity, do read that text because at the end of uh, chapter quizzes, those quizzes are mostly from the test. The other thing about this course that you should know is that it has a proctored. Uh, you can read through this, but uh, let's get to the proctored. Uh, uh, yeah, Justin Gappos, he's the uh, person or the instructor. So where is the int Okay, I can't find it. Maybe I don't. I don't find it when I need it. Now, the proctor exam is basically you will be in front of camera. The final exam. Uh, there are like weekly quizzes. You can do it uh, just by uh, going at it. But for the final mega quiz or whatever that is proctored meaning uh, just like if you have taken a plus or next security plus network plus you have to sit in front of camera you're being monitored and then while you attempt that quick, uh, exam same thing the the way they are doing is that they are there's a software recording monitoring you so it's not actually a human person that you will be interacting but i think uh, it's the same with network plus now you get recorded and if software flags you for 
any movements that's been fed into the software like eye movements right left or completely tilting your head from right to or down <clears throat> that's uh, when the software flags and the human reviews the video footage and based on that they contact you or you know just make decision right now this has uh, like i said nine courses uh, and there are, these are the list of the courses introduction authentication access control etc so these are the nine courses in five weeks you can see five five every every uh, all of them are five unless there is a surprise six or four one yeah I love, this one is six but then it's uh, less work per uh, week now the other thing about this if you since you are gonna shell out about fifteen hundred dollar thirteen forty four you will be given one credit per course like there are nine courses so you will be rewarded uh, nine credit uh, college credits those college credits unfortunately are not issued from nyu but another university in uh, new york state that's uh, thomas edison's uh, state university something like that they will be issuing those credits college credits so but still a college credit uh, maybe i know it, it works maybe upward of 350 dollars so minimum it will be around 350 the highest it will be around 400 dollars so you do the math you nine credit hours you will be roughly saving about three thousand uh, dollars if you go through this course and add it to your um application with any uh, um, like college or university i know wgu when when uh, western governor university is pretty hot right now among all of the uh, professionals that uh, i come across they're all taking one course on another and you know it's mostly graduate program uh, under over there so and they do take all of your credits like i re i was reading through some guy was able to transfer 90 credit uh into his bachelor's program so he, all he needed was 30 more credits to just complete his bachelor's uh, in computer science so that's pretty cool uh this one again you have to go through all of them i'm gonna try, i'm gonna try to open if i can sign in and show you the uh yeah this one right here so if you can go through here you can see the this is a progress bar it shows you well oh right there actually so this one was pretty disappointing for me but this went from 20 to 30 percent as soon as it cleared this quiz three so it's the total uh your um progress and this one is your quizzes and this one is the final exam dreaded exam now if we go, were to go to the main page here i think it's say you have to eligible for credits you must complete all of the courses 70 percent or higher let's see if it's talking somewhere about the proctor exam and i can see i can't find right now but you can see this is this is the professor at NYU EDU and for the each week it's about uh, let's see I'm gonna show you the a little bit bigger one so basically if I were to go here these are number of videos maybe uh, maybe three four videos more each video is about maximum around eight minutes I haven't come across any video that was nine or ten minutes and this pretty straightforward you just go read it and then at the end you type the quiz quizzes are uh, pretty straightforward if you have read through the text but unfortunately for us non-english speaking uh, professionals it comes down to spelling if you uh, it's not a multiple choice question so sometimes you have to write mo most of the time and if your spellings are incorrect you it fails you so that's uh, not cool for example just uh, today my son was telling me please plz and i was like uh, <laughs> your spellings are wrong but you get the idea now we in american english we write whatever 
uh, spelling we want but uh, with this unfortunately you have to have the correct spellings in order to be rewarded for that uh, quiz question I'm, I'm gonna actually try to show you what it looks like so a, where, yeah so here I was using single s right here and it was giving me an error uh, so you have to have your spelling correct otherwise you're out of luck all right so let's go to the date so it, it's dated like when is come due so you go with that um, like I said I'm doing it uh, trying to do it ahead of time so that's uh, I recommend because the it will be if you go through them like if you go through the dates that they have assigned you will uh, end up uh, not completing it on time because the deadline uh, professor said is 31st December and he actually did say that he might uh, extend it into the next year but so far no uh, plans uh, but like I said that was definitely if you're spending all that money definitely try to squeeze it and do it on time or be ahead of time all right so let's go and actually slavers okay see all children now he can go through the syllabus if you want to read through all nine courses this is the google doc that you get to see this uh, in the very beginning of the course and the, in his introduction so you can simply go through this and find out what we will be learning it's pretty neat it's pretty uh, good information uh, right there it's not uh, extremely basic level but it's good healthy amount of uh, knowledge in there I, I i want i was just taking it because of the name and because of that uh, i want to have something lighter before i go and attempt uh, security plus i don't want to take the uh, uh, all that uh, headache right now because i just cleared network plus uh, maybe two weeks ago so i'm just taking a break and in the meantime just uh, cruising through this one let's wrap this video here if you have any questions concerns comments please write them down below if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one